Let's see this equation. We're going to solve for n. So variable n is here. So the first term we have a multiplied by 3 raised by n squared. So base is 3. Then the second term we have 9 raised by 8. Well, 9 is a 3 squared. Then raised by 8. Two layers of exponents, we multiply them. So we can rewrite this one as 3 raised by 16, 2 times a 16. The first term we don't change, we just keep as a multiplied by 3 raised by n raised by squared. Then 27 is a 3 cubed. So 3 cubed, then raised by 6, multiply 3 times 6, 18. So we can write as a 3 raised by 18. Now let's move this positive term to this side, it becomes negative. So it becomes minus minus 3 raised by 16. Right? It's the same as we subtract 3 raised by 16 on both sides. So this side, left hand side, we have a multiplied by 3 raised by n squared. On the right hand side, 3 raised by 18 is 3 raised by 16 times 3 raised by 2. Right, then minus 3 raised by 16 we can think as multiplied by 1. Then we have this common factor of 3 raised by 16. So let's factor that out. Then we have 3 squared left for the first term and uh, minus 1 for the second one. So 3 squared is 9. 9 minus 1 is 8. So it's a multiplied by 3 raised by 16. All right, compare two sides. So we divide by a on both sides. Divide by a. This becomes a one, this becomes a one. So we have a three raised by n squared equals to three raised by 16. Or well, base three, base three, that means n squared has to be 16. Square root both sides, that means a has to be plus or minus four. Okay, that's it. So n can be positive 4 or n can be negative 4.